Thanks, Sherry. Add a lot of wind to rain soaked ground, and you could see the trees in your yard come tumbling down. Nine First Warning Meteorologist Sarah Walters is on your side tonight to help you keep that from happening. In the past few years, every time you have a storm with strong winds, large trees come down. They fall on homes, cars, and power lines. So what's causing these mature trees to fall? It has to do with the combination of dry periods followed by wet periods. During a dry spell, a tree's roots will die, and the whole root system, or anchor, is damaged. Then, when you have an extremely wet year with above average record rainfall, such as in 2011, root rot sets in, causing the tree's anchor to become unstable. At that point, it doesn't take much to bring it down. So, what do you do if you have a mature tree like this one close to your home? We caught up with tree expert Dave Stang of Dave Stang Certified Tree Care. He showed us what you need to know to stay safe. People will call and say, Look, at, I'll tell them, look at the flare of the tree, and they don't know where that's at. Where the flare is right where the, the tree meets the ground. And it's in this area that we have the first or some of the major symptoms of uh, root decay. You also need to remove the vines from your tree so you can actually see when the tree is having problems. Vines can cover up the signs. If there's a discoloration or fungi growing at the base of the tree, that's definitely a red flag. It's important to note, though, that not all trees need to come down. Stang recommends having a professional, such as a certified arborist, examine the tree that you're concerned about. Once they determine the state of the tree, they will decide whether the tree can be saved or needs to be removed. Stang also says not to trim the top off your trees because it exposes the tree, making it more susceptible to decay in future years. He says the best trimmed tree is one that you can't tell has been trimmed. Nine First Warning Meteorologist Sarah Walters, Amberley Village.